July 1, 1954, the Japan Defense Agency, an organization taking up the mission of defense of Japan, was launched. Since then, 53 years have passed. The Defense Agency became the Ministry of Defense. Japan's defense posture has reached a turning point and started anew, seeking the peace and stability of Japan and of the world. MOD looks at the role that it should play and the possibilities for a new era. On December 15, 2006, at the plenary session of the House of Councillors, the bill on the transition from the Defense Agency to MOD was passed by a majority vote. On January 9, 2007, the transition of the Defense Agency to MOD was achieved. Until then, the Defense Agency had been positioned as an external bureau of the Cabinet Office, and the Prime Minister was a minister in charge of national defense. With the transition to a ministry, the defense minister became a minister in charge of defense. There are three significant facets in the transition to the MOD. The first is to strengthen policy planning functions on defense policies. The second is to enhance and strengthen preparedness to deal with emergency situations. And the third is to develop a structure that enables MOD to exert effort proactively and on its own initiative to ensure the peace and stability of the international community. Together with this transition to a ministry, international peace cooperation activities, which have been growing in importance in recent years, have been upgraded from a secondary mission to a primary mission of the JSDF. This enables Japan to send a strong message, both at home and abroad, about its effort to maintain international peace. JGSDF newly organized the Central Readiness Force, or CRF, to set up a structure for being engaged in international peace cooperation activities proactively and on its own initiative, as well as respond effectively to new threats and diverse contingencies such as guerrilla and special operation force attacks and large-scale natural disasters. Through this, the structure will be further strengthened by having the International Peace Cooperation Activities Training Unit under the command of the CRF to provide the necessary education and others for implementing international peace cooperation activities. Recently, the international community has been facing global problems, such as international terrorism and complex, diverse regional conflicts. Given this situation in the international community, Japan is conducting various international peace cooperation activities to improve the international security environment and to ensure that the threats do not reach Japan. Japan has been engaged in international peace cooperation activities approximately 20 times in the Middle East, Africa, Latin America, and other locations. One of those activities is based on the Special Measures Law on Humanitarian and Reconstruction Assistance in Iraq, which was enacted in July 2003. The SDF has been successfully sending units to Iraq and undertaking tasks toward the reconstruction of a state on Iraq's own initiative. In June 2007, an amendment was passed to extend the Special Measures Law on Humanitarian and Reconstruction Assistance in Iraq for two years. With this, the JASDF Transport Unit based in Kuwait implements assistance activities including airlifts of supplies for the UN and multinational forces, and thereby continues to cooperate toward reconstruction and stability in Iraq. In order to eradicate the threat of international terrorism, the Anti-Terrorism Special Measures Law was promulgated and enforced in November 2001. Under this law, Japan had conducted cooperation and support activities in the Indian Ocean, as well as relief activities for affected people. However, 
日本時間24時をもってテロ対策特別措置法はその期限を迎える。The anti-terrorism special measures law expired on November 1st, 2007, and supply activities that continued almost for six years came to a halt. Japan dispatched a total of 59 ships and supplied 794 times and approximately 488,000 kiloliters of ship fuel to ships from 11 countries, including the U.S. and the U.K. Thus, Japan contributed greatly to the maritime interdiction operations by the participating country ships. On November 23rd, the Tokiwa, which accomplished its supply mission, returned safely from the Indian Ocean to a warm welcome by family members. Indo-Yo no Kaijo Soshikas Do ni okeru Hokiu Katsudo. So re amasa ni Koksai Shakai ga itchi shito okonatte iru Tero to no Tatakai no Jiuyo na Yakuari no Ichibo ni natte iru wake de gozaimasu. そうした重要な仕事を皆さん方見事に果たしてこられましたこちらの SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-SDF-
At the meeting, the exchange of views was made as to defense policies, defense exchanges of each country, and so on. And agreements were reached on a visit to Japan by a Chinese ship and the establishment of a communication system between the defense authorities of both countries. In November 2007, a Chinese naval ship visited Japan for the first time as agreed at the meeting. In addition, MOD and the SDF are promoting dialogues and exchanges with many countries, from exchanges at the ministerial level to those between units. In recent years, the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missiles have become a serious problem internationally for fear the terrorists might use them. Countries around the world are cooperating together on efforts to tackle such a challenge, and there is a trend for those countries to strengthen non-proliferation agreements. The Proliferation Security Initiative, PSI, is a global effort to consider and implement necessary measures to prevent weapons of mass destruction, ballistic missiles, and so on from proliferating. Training has been conducted among countries supporting PSI in the world since 2003. In 2007, maritime interdiction training sponsored by Japan was held for the second time. In the future as well, together with promoting improvements in the capabilities of the JSDF, MOD will call for the participation of more countries and will strive to promote the understanding of non-proliferation. On March 25, 2007, an earthquake with its epicenter off the coast of the Noto Peninsula occurred. Damage including collapsed houses was seen across a wide area as well as Wajima City. Four months later, another earthquake occurred with its epicenter off the coast of Jo Chuetsu, Niigata Prefecture. These earthquakes were terrible disasters that destroyed and damaged houses. The JSDF immediately dispatched its units to the disaster areas and began relief activities including rescuing people, providing the assistance of food, water and bathing facilities, and transporting supplies together with collecting information about damage. In recent years, massive natural disasters have occurred in various locations around Japan. Many people expect that the JSDF will cope with such disasters promptly and properly. On September 1, 2007, the MOD conducted a large-scale reorganization, including the discontinuance of the Defense Facilities Administration Agency. There were four points in the reorganization. First, the Defense Facilities Administration Agency was abolished, and its functions were integrated into the Internal Bureau of MOD and the Equipment Procurement and Construction Office. The second point was that the Internal Bureau was reconstructed to smoothly promote the issues of realignment of U.S. forces in Japan, together with strengthening the policy planning functions. The third, a regional defense bureaus were newly established to build a close relationship with local communities as local bases of entire defense administration. And fourth, to prevent scandals such as the collusive bidding in the Defense Facilities Administration Agency and information leakage, the Inspector General's Office of Legal Compliance was newly established to inspect the entire MOD for compliance with laws and regulations. Such reorganization is designed to be appropriately able to undertake policy changes in a new era and to respond to more increasing expectations placed upon MOD and the SDF. In 2007, the first year of the MOD, four ministers of defense assumed office. On July 4th, Yuriko Koike, a special advisor to the prime minister, was appointed as the second minister of defense. As the first female minister of defense, her appointment received wide public attention. On August 27th, Masahiko Komura was appointed. He worked energetically on arranging the Japan-China Defense Ministerial Meeting and extending the anti-terrorism special measures law. On September 26th, Shigeru Ishiba was appointed under the Yasuo Fukuda cabinet.
He is energetically endeavoring to resolve important issues. <laughs> Japan has had to deal with a difficult security environment, including ballistic missile launches and the announcement of a nuclear test by North Korea in 2006. The MOD is promoting the introduction of a ballistic missile defense system to intercept ballistic missiles. In the event that a ballistic missile is fired, it will be detected and tracked by ground radar and Aegis destroyers. In March 2007, the Patriot Pac-3, a ground-based interception system, was deployed at the Iruma base in Saitama Prefecture for the first time. In December, Japan succeeded with the first test firing of an SM-3 missile and the addition of BMD capability to the destroyer Congo. The next fixed-wing maritime patrol aircraft PX for the JMSDF and the next transport aircraft CX for the JASDF have been developed by Japanese technical expertise. On July 4, 2007, the CX had a rollout of the first flight test aircraft. On September 28, the PX succeeded in its maiden flight. In August, the christening and launching ceremony of the 13,500-ton destroyer Huga was held. Huga has a 195-meter flight deck, and it is expected to play a vital role when dispatching in emergencies and disasters. Moreover, a Kido Ace unit, a flying intensive care unit, was deployed to the JASDF in March. This enables patients in critical condition to be transported to distant medical facilities while keeping them in stable condition. This year, which is the first year of MOD, two SDF public relations facilities have opened. On April 5, 2007, the JMSDF Kure Museum, known as the Steel Whale Museum, opened in Kure City in Hiroshima Prefecture. This is the first public relations facility of its kind in Japan, and visitors can actually go inside the submarine. On June 10, 2007, the Hokuchin Museum opened at the JGSDF Asahikawa Camp. This museum is popular because it displays around 2,500 valuable materials related to the activities of the second JGSDF divisions, as well as the histories of colonial troops and the seventh division of the old army that were engaged in defending Hokkaido and cultivating its land. In addition, with public relations facilities around the country attracting people's attention, on December 4, 2007, the number of visitors attending the MOD Ichigaya Dai tour reached 200,000 and a commemorative ceremony was held. Moreover, the MOD and the JSDF strive constantly for a better understanding of the actual state of the JSDF while maintaining friendly relations with the local communities. Two issues were shown during the Diet deliberations on continuation of the JMSDF activities in the Indian Ocean. These two issues were an error in the announcement of the volume of fuel supplied from the JMSDF support ship Tokiwa to the U.S. supply ship Pecos, which was not corrected then, and also the mistaken destruction of a logbook of the JMSDF support ship Towada. The MOD is devising appropriate measures to ensure that such mistakes never occur again. In November 2007, former Vice Defense Minister Takemasa Moriya was arrested on suspicion of receiving bribes. And in December, a JSDF officer was arrested on charges of leaking information about an Aegis ship. These arrests eroded public confidence in the Defense Administration. The MOD and the JSDF are endeavoring to restore the confidence by enforcing strict official discipline among personnel and implementing a variety of reforms. On October 28th, 
The Supreme Commander of the JSDF, Prime Minister Yasuo Fukuda, was present for the review, an event of the JSDF Day in fiscal 2007. Boys The MOD and the JSDF are in charge of the core of the defense of Japan. While responding appropriately to the constantly changing security environment and making improvements in the environment henceforth as well, the MOD and the JSDF continue to step forward in a new age together with the people of Japan.